Hey you, welcome to my YouTube. I'm Shree Amber and on this channel you'll learn everything about lash extensions and lifestyle as a lash artist. I've inspired so many artists all over the world and helped them become confident again in their lashing. I'm still walking through their lash journey with them as I'm still on mine. I hope you stick around because I have so much to share and maybe I'll inspire you as well. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over my famous wispy textured classic set. One day I decided I was just going to mix with some curls and um, kind of play around and see what I can do to give my clients what they wanted for their classic sets. And ever since then, I've been doing this signature set for my natural style textured classics so obviously we are going to tape down i love using my microfoam tape pads um these ones are pre-cut so i don't have to fuss with cutting up my microfoam tape anymore uh with the 3m foam rolls i just now i have these and i'm like so in love with them they i will never go back to regular pads um but right now we are going in with some lash shampoo and we're going to prep the natural lashes so that while I'm applying my classic extensions, we have the best bonding ever. Usually after I've shampooed, I will put rinse on my lipstick applicators. I kind of soak them a little bit and then I rinse that way. But this isn't the only way you can prep. Like you can prep without pads on and thoroughly cleanse the lashes that way if you want i can do a video on the different ways you can prep the natural lashes um, because i think there's about like three different ways i've seen that you can prep um but we're going in those layers i like to lift the lid and expose every layer so that i can get every single base of the natural lash now we are drying the natural lashes and I always go in like this with my mascara wand um, because it seems to dry the lashes as quick as possible. I'm now going to go ahead and prime her lashes. Now my primer is a water-based primer so what I'm doing is I'm putting moisture back into her natural lashes because again like I always say our adhesives love 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 moisture and i love using a micro swab for this part so that i can again get all of those bases of her layers and so we mapped her out we put our glue in our glue holder and if you see um i have cc right there eight nine ten uh i kind of did a certain style on my sister so for her inner corners, we did CC8, 9, and 10. And then throughout, I went 11, 12, I believe. I don't think I did 13s. And then I went back down to 11 and 10. So the base of it was, so the bottom layers were CC curl in the like doll eye mapping. And then the top layer is the same mapping, but in D curl. So the reason why I do top layer D curl is because it's more of a curl. It's a stronger curl. And the bottom layer is more of a softer curl, which gives the illusion of texture and airy type of set. Yesterday, I did a set on my mother-in-law and... I did what I usually do for a classic set. I went ahead and did bottom layer CC curl, inner corner CC curl, and then top layers D curl. But I did a natural style. So whatever her lash length, her natural lash cycle was, was the lengths I was going to apply to that lash so if it was a baby lash I was gonna apply an eight eight millimeter if it was a teenage lash I went ahead and applied a um, 
a nine or ten. Um, and then the adult lash, it would be would have been a ten or an eleven. So I only used three different lengths, but two different curls, which made it look so textured and almost like a uh, wet lash style. So I'll share that clip of the set I did on my mother-in-law yesterday at the end of this video. But we are just applying in zones basically at this point with the links um, according to what I have on the pad here. But you can go about your classic sets either way. You can do it the way I did it this way, like create a map. Um for the client but but keep the different curls top and bottom layer or you can do the natural style like I explained that I did on my mother-in-law set and um again top bottom layer the two different curls so you are definitely not limited with a classic set I know a lot of people stare away from them because they think you're just doing basic stuff and you can literally do a lot with classics um and they come out beautiful when you master them too so they're one of my favorite things to do and yeah I am just going in and getting her done using my tweezers using my fingers to isolate um doing the new technique with finger isolating is very new to me and very hard so I try to get as much practice in as I possibly can because um, it is something that I want to master so that I can be quicker and more efficient with my sets so we're just putting extensions in our zones and if you're noticing I'm literally putting one in each section an extension in each section and then I'm going back and forth um lifting her layers getting her bottom bottom lashes here and yeah i am using my classic lash extensions i'm very very picky with classic extensions i remember for the longest time anytime i would purchase from different companies i would rarely find a good classic lash and then I finally came out with my own and I'm pretty proud of my classics. I only use flat ellipse extensions and soft flats. So as long as they're flats, I'm good. I am so good to go and, and classic lash someone for sure. Uh, I'm using my Nora and Clear Emery Mixed for this set as well. And everything that I'm using, I will... Uh, go ahead and put it in the description down below but isolating is super super important with classic sets I mean with any set but you always want that one extension to one natural lash for sure unless you're capping and stacking I understand that but I don't really think anybody does that these days anymore I don't think you really have to um, we're pretty we're becoming more advanced with um our products and stuff and so i think i think we don't nobody really does that anymore if you do let me know that's that would be very interesting but a lot of people tell me that they don't like classic lashes too because because they don't last and just use more glue that's it and make sure your contact your um base-to-base -base contact is as maximum as possible at least a minimum of two millimeter contact so if you've been following me for a while you probably already know what I'm doing right here but if you're not familiar with this I have came up with a trick uh, with renew contact solution and what I do when I get a sticky on the pad is I put some on a micro a swab and I go ahead and work it on that um, sticky that's on the extension or on the pad and it works it dry to where you can just pluck it right off instead of like pulling a sticky off the pad and the foam pad comes apart with that extension you have like a piece of foam on your or a piece of your pad on the extension after you unstick it 
I honestly hope that made sense, but yeah, I use Renew Contact Solution for stickies on the pad and for stickies um, together, like two extensions um, stuck together. So unless they're easily able to come apart, then I don't need it. But if you made it through this whole entire video, thank you for sticking around and staying with me. Um, if you learned something from this video, please let me know down below. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you'd like to learn next. I hope you found value in this video and it helped you, especially if you're trying to achieve um, classic lashes. Right now I'm going in with some Super Bonder. I like to use Super Bonder because it cures the fumes, but also it gives flexibility to my sets, so helps them last longer. Um, but honestly, you don't really need Super Bonder if your application is on point. And yeah, I'm brushing through, I'm drying them, getting ready to take her pads off. And just like I said in the beginning of the video, I will show a clip of the set I did on my mother-in-law. They came out, and everybody's classic sets will always come out different depending on what you're trying to achieve. But this is what my sister's looks like, me brushing through, trying not to stab her in the eye. <laughs> My sister's always down for a set. I sure do miss her. But, yeah, they came out beautiful. And we're just brushing through. This is the type of stuff that I don't post. But, hey, like, we all do this, right? Trying to get that good shot and get those lashes nice and brushed through. But here is the clip that I did on my mother-in-law. They came out different. This was the more natural style, textured, wispy set. I loved them. They came out beautiful, beautiful. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Subscribe and share. I love you, bestie. In the next video, I'm going to be teaching you how I did this lash removal step by step.